How's everybody doing? I remember, you know, years ago, trying to figure out life, trying to figure out how to get things done, seeing how everybody else got things done. No, I wasn't comparing myself to their results, but I was looking at their methodologies. I was looking at their system. I was looking at their habits. Because ultimately, if I paid attention to their habits and their system, perhaps I could be led to the same results. So this is what I do currently right now, just so you all know. Because I mean, I don't live in a static world. We don't live in a static world. And I decided long ago that I just couldn't let it happen by chance. Yes, I needed to be patient, but I couldn't just let it, these things happen by chance. Because I didn't like what happened as a result of doing it that way. So I began to write things down. I began to examine what I did. And this is currently what I do now. First and foremost, whenever I make a goal, say for example, I once upon a time, I made a goal that I wanted to obtain a degree. I don't, it's not that it's not that, not that important to me anymore, but when I did it, I felt that it would impact my children who were getting ready to go to a major university. They were they were getting ready to go to major universities. My son for exercise science, my daughter who is now due to start pre med next year. The bottom line is is that they hadn't attended college yet, and I was. I was an old head. I was 57, almost 50 years old. I said, man, if I can get my, if I can get my degree, if I can get my degree, I will eliminate their, I will more than adequately eliminate their excuses for not uh, sticking to studies, following assignments, being studious, and attaining their degree. Truthfully, that's the reason why that's the only reason that I really did it because I didn't intend to use the degree to further my educational requirements for any particular job. But I knew that if I could get a degree of some type, that it would turbocharge my children. And that's exactly what happened. But the first thing that I did was, okay, so let's say, for example, goal setting. My goal was a degree. You put it up here. That's the goal. Then the next thing I needed to do is I needed to have steps. I needed to create five or six steps, any number of steps, to attain that degree. For example, I needed to get with a uh, university counselor to determine what classes I needed. I needed to figure out how many classes I needed. I needed to figure out who's going to pay for this. Well, being in the military, I had been in the military, my military career was going to pay for 80% of it. So that was pretty much a done deal. That was good for my child because a lot of people can't go to school because they have to pay for everything. But I didn't have the situation. And I, I definitely took advantage of it. So got the payment stuff out of the way. I knew how many classes I was going to be taking per semester. I was able to determine when it when it was possible for me to get the degree. I needed to have a long-term vision and a time-bound goal in the end. Like if it was going to take me a year or two years or three years, how long was it going to take me? Then I had to break it down as to, okay, if, I'm going to, if it's going to take me two years or three years, how many classes do I need to take per semester? And, if I did, and did I have a GPA level that I wanted to attain? Well, quite frankly, I wanted to attain at least a 3.5. That's what I wanted. 4.0 is great, but 3.5, if I could get that or higher, I would be in high cotton, as they say. So that was my other goal. Within this, within the confines of the goal of, be, of getting my, my bachelor's degree. And I said, okay. So I needed to have the steps. And they were written down. And I needed to follow them every day without excuse. 
Because once I embarked on this study of college, if I failed to do an assignment like I was supposed to, I was going to fail. We can't have that. That's not a good example for my kids. So anyway, it was to create a goal, make it time bound, and I, I needed to find out along with what the goal was going to do for me, well, I already identified it was going to impact my children and impact me as well to have a sense of accomplishment. I needed to figure out what the, the goal was going to do for me, why I was doing it, the steps to get it done, to make it time bound. And every goal that I set, I had to do that. I had to write it down. I could look at it and say, okay, step one is this, step two is this, step three is that, step four is that. That's how I did it. I figured out that's, that's the way I needed to do it. So fast forward, we are now in 2020. So how do I do things now? Pretty much the same way, but the exception of on a piece of paper, I took a piece of paper and I went like three columns on a piece of paper on my planner. And at the currently on the bottom of my planner, it says the first column is MDC. And in the MDC, I, got, I need to get some treats for my dog. I need some Trim T65 for my fiance. I need some relief cream for, you know, any kind of discomfort because I'm lifting weights. And I need, I wanted some Corey's, but that, that sage essential oil, that's under my MDC column. The next column is my gun column. My fiance has expressed a desire to own a gun. And that involves, because I fired every weapon system that the army had. I mean, from machine guns to, to German soft, German hardware, I mean, you know, M60, M249 machine guns. I mean, I know how to fire a weapon. But I do know that in order to fire a weapon, you have to have a gun. So the first step was going to be choosing a gun for her. We need to go gun shopping. That's part of the... And then we need to go to a range. She needs to be taught. She needs to receive lessons from me and from a qualified instructor as well. That's on my list. And uh, and also, you know, a carry permit. That that's going to be necessary. You know? And how are we going to secure the weapons in our home? That, that's a consideration. So that's another column. And I have to have it be time-bound. The reason why? And time-bound in that, in that goal. The next goal, the next column, is my fitness column. Under that squat column, I need to, I'm going to purchase a squat rack for my home. Yes, a squat rack, so I can work on my legs. And I'm going to, I can use the squat rack for bench presses and shoulder presses to make my body strong. Um, to go along with that, I need to have the correct food consumption. You know, I need to eat a lot of fish for protein. Some eggs and some tuna fish and some I need to have complex carbohydrates. That's a part of my fitness column. Okay. And I need to have plenty of recovery. All right. That's that column. There are a couple of other things, but I'll leave it right there. Then my, another column that I have is my car column. I have a Mercedes S500 that currently needs an alternator. I need to get an alternator for the car. I need to get some new tires for the car. I have a crack in my windshield. I need to get that repaired. You know, we need to upgrade the car insurance. And on the right side of the car, I'm, I think I sideswiped an object and I damaged the door. I need to get that fixed. I know I don't need a new car. I need to fix this old car that I have. It's a 2002, but it's a nice car. I don't need that. I don't need that additional bill. So I had to have that reason why for that one. The steps to get those things done. The primary concern for the car deal is an alternator. That's the first thing, and I'll deal with everything else as sees fit. 
And the next thing is residence. My first phase of my plan was to get a three bedroom apartment here in Henderson, Nevada. Henderson, Nevada is located about maybe eh, 12 minutes or so from Vegas, 21 minutes or so from Vegas, and is listed as one of the safest locations in the nation. It's important to me. But it was only part one of my three phase plan. My first phase was to transport my dog, my 125, 130 pound Great Dane dog, to this three bedroom apartment, subsequently get married to my fiance, subsequently move her in with me, because I'm taking care of everything, right? But that's only phase one of my plan, because I still need to get, I need to focus on clunk, clunk. Here's a continuation of my previous video um, my phone rang and it interrupted my video, so I'm giving a part two. So the next stage was going to be part of my of my three phase plan for my residence was for me to go ahead and um, find a residence that will be able to accommodate us. My goal is to get a five or six bedroom home, probably leaning toward a six bedroom home for a number of reasons. You ask why you need so many rooms. Well, I need a master bedroom. That's one room. I'd like to have an office for my fiance because she wants to make shoes. That's two rooms. I'd like to have an office for my business. That's three rooms. Uh, I need to have a fitness room for my um, squat rack and other stuff. That's four rooms. I need to have an extra room in case somebody comes over the house to rest. That's five rooms. I need to have a room, I think, for Titan. You know, Titan needs his own room, preferably. That's that's six rooms. So that right there, I mean, I could orchestrate or change things a little bit as I see fit based upon space requirements. I need to have a, um, a large backyard for him to run around in. I want stainless steel appliances, tile floors, preferably over carpet. Um, those are things I want for my house. That's part of phase two. Now, phase two is interesting for me, especially for me, because, see, I'm an empty nester, and neither um, Marie or myself will have children in the home that we're responsible to. People can come visit us, but it's going to come a time when they leave, right? So that's part of that's part of my phase two, and I'll be mean, I'll be adding things to make our house presentable, our house comfortable, ultimately. But that but I have that written down as part of my columns, my my column of um. Let me see. My column of uh, moving to Vegas. You know, I also have to have, um, you know, what they call HOA. You get to pay for an HOA, and you got to um, uh, the pool that you're going to have to have a requirement for, and stuff like that. The backyard, the grounds, the keeping of that. So that costs money to do that. And I have uh, Bitcoin and ETH for investments. And I have to deal with savings because a portion of my income has to be saved or should be saved, in my opinion. And you need to have like an emergency fund if need be because things happen. Spiritually, you know, um, Maria saved. I've been long since saved. So I believe in spirituality, I, be, I believe in the power of God and what he can do, and what he's done for me. That'll be an integral part of our existence. As a matter of fact, when we get married, the pastor has agreed to do a Zoom video conference of us getting married. And I'll be able to record that Zoom of us getting married, and I'll be able to transcribe it into a YouTube video but for those that are watching this video right here, you have an opportunity to see that video. That'd be cool. All right. That, that, so I have a miscellaneous column. 
Besides my Bitcoin slash ETH column, I have a, a miscellaneous column with bookcase, beer trim, um, military ID card. I want a housekeeper to help keep the house clean that I'm going to pay for. Um, read six pages a day of a book that I have on my shelf that I want to read. Because I believe when you read, it makes your mind stronger. Make sure it makes sure you have, have the ability to work things out better. Okay, um, that's part of my that's part of, part of one of my columns. Um, and I have a I have a webinar column. Webinar column will be when we go see Eric Thomas, or we go see Eric Worry, or we go hear what Billy Allsbrooks Brooks has to say. Here's your reminder. Grind and blast past leaderboard. That sound that you hear in the background is my Alexa app that I have programmed. Here's your reminder. Grind and blast past leaderboard. To, to remind me to do certain things. I have a, a Alexa app on my iPad and on my phone that allows me to tell Alexa to remind me to feed my dog. Remind me to get on certain training. Should I remind you? Alexa, stop. Remind me to do certain things. That's that, That's what I use that for. Because a lot of times we forget things. We forget to do things. And I use that thing to remind me of certain areas that I will not forget. Because I will have to write them down. It will just simply remind me. But I was I wanted to share this with you because I want I see people are getting away. They're living their life sort of like sporadically, sort of like a hit or miss. And, they, and that's one of the reasons why I believe that they have hit or miss results. Because there's no rhyme or reason as to how they live. And time is very important to me. We waste so much time. But if we could just improve 1% per day in 365 days, you know, that would be a lot of, that would be a lot of improvement. If we could, if we could, if we could improve 1% a week, even that would be good. Because at the end of the year, that'd be 52% of improvement. Where would you be if you, if your life improved 52%? Wow. Impressive. So. I wanted to come back on, on here and add the second part of this video to encourage you to keep your head down, enjoy your life, have a rhyme or reason, have a systematic approach, habits, and routine that will help you be better than who you are right now. Where we came from, the parents or the siblings, or other people that thought less about us than we did could have influenced us to be who we are since we let them do that. <clears throat> we let them get into our head. Imagine that. You let a person get into your head to make you feel less than you are. And because of that, you're telling me now that the reason why you are the way you are is because of this person or that person or this influence, or that influence. If you push me to the ground, it's your fault. If I'm still on the ground three weeks from now, that's my fault. I can't continue to blame you for what you did to me. I have to take responsibility so I can be better. If not, what's the use? We're done. There's nothing, nothing. Else. If I can't be better than what I was today because of something you said to me or something you did, and God has given me the, to have the power of choice, I'm essentially giving you the right to be stronger than God. That does not make any sense. Hopefully this finds you being as strong as you can be. Take responsibility. Don't blame others for where you at. Take responsibility for what and who you are and what you have. Have a good one.